Hi all, in previous video, we saw how to create a blog container in Azure portal, link provided in description box. In this video, let's see how to create a blog container using C Sharp. Let's see. Here created a sample console application for creating a container in Azure storage account. We need to install the package azure.storage.blog for that right click on your solution name, click manage new jet packages. Then install the package azure.storage.blog. I already installed that and import the namespace azure azure.storage.blob azure.storage.blob.models uh, now let's see how to create a container here created a sample function for creating a container inside that assign a container name in string variable and assign a connection string into the variable for container name you can give any name which you want but the connection string uh, in previous video we saw how to get a connection string that connection string you should assign here then we need to create an object for block service client class inside the parenthesis you have to provide the connection string by using this object we can create a container by calling the method create block container asynchronously or create block container this is a synchronous method when using synchronous method then no need to use await keyword uh, let's use synchronous method asynchronous method this function will create an object for blob container client class and append the container details to blob service client object and return to this container object. And by using this object, we can check whether the created container exists or not using exist method or exist asynchronous method. Here using asynchronous method, we can also use synchronous method. Let's use asynchronous method. If it exists, then printing the name of the container name, uh, then return success. Otherwise, returning none. Let's execute and check. Let's see. See, our container created successfully. See, our container name is test container. Once container created successfully, you can check in storage account of Azure portal. Inside the containers, our created container will show in the list. Uh, like this we can also delete a container let's see uh, here created a sample function for deleting a container uh, declaring the container name and the connection string uh, created an object for blob service client inside the parenthesis passing connection string and by using get blob container client method retrieving a container details by using the delete method deleting the container here using asynchronous method you can also use synchronous method uh, let's execute and check delete method. See, our container deleted successfully. Sample code given in description box. In our next video, we will see how to upload blog inside container of storage account using C Sharp. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.